Hey guys, it's Anne Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I have a special treat for you guys. I am on Infinity's Island and if you don't already know Infinity, she is known as Stardew Isle Crossing here on YouTube and Infinity is not just another Animal Crossing YouTuber, she is next level you guys she's been on my channel before we love her and she does the best islands she doesn't just place things here and there and make it look cute she crams it full but it looks amazing and it does not ever look cluttered but she is not going to leave not one tile untouched and it always turns out fabulous. So I cannot wait to show you her island cottontail, which is a bunny core spring core island. I have been here a few times, but this is my first time being here since she finished it. I'm super excited to show you guys, so let's get right into it. Be sure to check her out here on YouTube and also on Instagram. Now here is her map and just take a second to appreciate all of that waterscaping and terraforming and do you notice the special bunny pond up there? She does do a speed build of basically every part of her island so if you check out her channel you will find all of that. She will even teach you how to make the bunny pond. So of course she has all bunny villagers. We have Doc, Bonbon, bon, Bunny, Hopkins, O'Hare, Sasha is her favorite, Chrissy, Francine, of course they live next to each other. Dottie and Cole. I actually have Infinity's fly over here. The night after I filmed her island tour, she hosted a play date and I went to the play date, so I will be inserting lots of cute little clips from our play date in those areas just to show you. We had such a fun time and thank you so much Infinity for having me. So let's get right into this video you guys. I'm so excited that we are here. So here we have her lovely entrance complete with a double rainbow in the back. How beautiful is that? We are going to be seeing a lot of bunnies in pastel colors. Francine is here with her umbrella to hang out with us. I'm telling you guys, next level. And if we go across the double bridge here, you will find resident services. So it is pretty close to the airport, but it flows so well, you guys. Let's get a better view. The light sprinkle is making everything sparkly. I love it. The time of day that she chose is so clever. Now when you wake up from your dream, she's going to have a ton of props for you guys. Like a ton, like you don't have to bring anything. I did download a few bunny dresses that I found, although I always forget to change. But here we have Chrissy and Francine's house. Look how cute they are matching. The amount of detail that Infinity puts into her islands is just incredible. I could spend hours here, so hopefully we don't make this tour too long where you guys get bored, but it is truly incredible what she does. So let's move on to the next area. Like, isn't this so cute? Here we have a lookout over resident services. 
just check out those beautiful double rainbows in the background. Here we all are together, hanging out on these two double bridges. It was so cute with all of us squeezed in. And next, I'd like to head to the right of the double bridge to this land bridge. Check this out. The amount of terraforming here. I'm telling you guys, next level. And Francine, I don't know what she's doing. And as you can see, we have found the baby museum back here. How stinking cute. Just so beautiful. Let's go up here. Just to have a good view. Wow, look at the beach to the right, the view, oh my gosh. I also love the berry stand over here and the clever placement of the flowers to look like berries, of course. Hey, Francine. Oh, and it looks like we have found the winery, which is also Nook's Cranny. And the little baby Nook. So since Nook's is a winery, we were getting drunk on our sparkling cider which is totally non-alcoholic but you know those types of girls right we pretend to be drunk even though our cup just has water in it so cute though and in front of nooks we have Abel's here on the beach infinity has transformed Abel's into a sewing club that extends the entire beach we had so much fun sitting here, partying, and totally not sewing, but it is such a cute photo op. Next, we're headed up the beach, and here is a carrot farm on the peninsula here. This is too cute. And then we have a little surf area to go diving and even a changing room and then we get to the berry shop where we saw from above now we're gonna cheat and try to hop over can we hop over you guys can we do it shouldn't we be able to do it I don't think so oh maybe Ooh, we cheated. Infinity's gonna be mad at us. But we got over. How cute is this area? We have a carnival on the beach, you guys. So well placed. It's so cute. I just love Infinity. She is so creative. I love this little pancake spot with some muffins. And we are stuck. Let's see. Aww. Okay, I need to backtrack though so that you guys know where we are. 
and so that I also know where I am. Let's see. I don't think. Okay, yeah. So we finished that whole spot down there. And now we are going to the right of resident services. And check out all of her waterscaping here. And looks like we have a villager home. And I'd love to go inside. What do you guys think? Let's go. Such a cute villager yard. I love all the bunny stuff and the little tiny trees. So cute. Back across the bridge here. We are back to where we cut through. So we have a little mini neighborhood here. I love the blue and the pink together. It looks so good. And heading up behind the houses, we have just a cute bunny carnival pastel area. I love it. Where are we going this way? Okay, so that takes us back to the bridge. But check out all of the pathing here. She has used so many different custom designs which are all in a video that she put together on her YouTube channel and here we have a cute little library with a cafe I see some Brewster coffee over there. I'm currently drinking coffee right now as I'm recording this video. Channeling that energy. I love this, you guys. So that was her library. And next we are headed somewhere very exciting. But check out all of the space fillers as we head over there. Infinity is always so detailed. And here we have it. The Bunny Pond. I love when people make a pun that is specific for their theme. It is so cute and I love that it's a bunny. I did struggle getting the, um, getting the camera angle here, but I did my best at the time. Now that I'm looking at this footage, I definitely could have done a better job, but you get the point it's beautiful and you can see it on her channel as well she does do a speed build she does do a speed build for this bunny pond and it's beautiful so that was Dottie's bunny lake let's see what else we can find that's Dottie's house right there I love that all of her flowers are sparkling now. She didn't even have to water them. She cleverly found a day where it was raining and then it stops while you're still touring the island. So it's perfect. So that's Dottie's house. Aw, and Sasha's here waiting for us to get out of the camera angle. And he says, seeing you here is something like out of a dream. He's so cute. That is Infinity's boyfriend, as you will see later in the tour. But look how cute he is, just bouncing around back there. In this precious little market, he is just following me around. I love him. He's so adorable. And now we have a little transition area. 
and here we found Doc and Chrissy, but they're kind of in my way. So let's go up to this picnic spot here. It's a little reading area, and this is where you could pull out your book that Infinity gave you and just hang out for a minute. Now me, I definitely forget to bring out my props, so I definitely did not do that, but I never do that. And then if you follow Chrissy here, it'll take you to her secret beach, which is kind of simple, but I love it. Simple is never a bad thing. So let's follow this pathway down and see what we find next. There's the bridge we passed. There is Doc. Oh, and I'm so excited for this area, but I'm not going to show you this area next. We're actually going to come back to that, but there's a little snack of it. And here we have another picnic area. Here we have the cutest pink little house. And now we are approaching the floating rock garden. Check this out, you guys. So creative and definitely time consuming trying to get those rocks on all of those little islands. And look at the little guy roids having a picnic. They're so cute. They're having some fruit pizza, it looks like. I love the gyroids, you guys. They are the best thing in this game. Seriously. Check out the terraforming here. This is actually her river mouth. So next we're going to check out this house over here. But we will come back to this area. Here we have O'Hare's Bistro. I love it. And here's her dock. She gave Cap'n a little mask to wear. Here's the other side of O'Hare's house. And let's check out the beach over here on the left. <laughs> I love this random seat here. I love how she decorated all of her rocks. She actually has so many rocks on her island. Okay, let's head up the beach and get some boba. Do you guys like boba tea? Because I do. I love to get boba coffee. It's amazing. My local, my local pho place sells it and I get it every time that we go eat pho. And here is another rock. Love it, Infinity. You are just blowing our minds here. No need to show off, okay? You don't have to show off. So let's backtrack and I want to show you my favorite spot, I think, on this island. And it looks like Sasha and Francine were up to something back here. Who knows what, but I'm definitely telling Infinity about that. Sasha, Sasha is supposed to be Infinity's boyfriend. But anyways, check out this sunken pathway here. Oh my gosh. the levels of terraforming once again she blows our mind and look at sasha down there so cute this just looks 
so good, especially with our little reps down here, just taking it all in. Wow. I wish I could be here in real life. Next, we have Sasha's house. Check out his little yard. She has spent so many things in this yard. It's awesome. And then Doc's house is cleverly placed in front. I love how she put the carrot on top of the shipping boxes. And he has his own little carrot farm. All right, if we go through Sasha's yard, we will actually get to Infinity's house. She definitely had to live right next to her boyfriend. And here she is trapped on the cliff, which she wasn't very happy about, but I actually love that idea. Like she's up here just hanging out by her house, ready to invite you in when you find her. But I love that her house is on a cliff, and I love the ladder heading up to it. She says, you're some bunny special. Thank you, Infinity. Let's take a look inside. Now, Infinity thinks that she's not good at interiors, but I disagree. This is so cute. I love all the pink. Even the pink on the bunny basket on the stove. Wow. And here's her bedroom, and it's kind of creepy, Infinity, that you have Sasha's poster right above your bed. But, you know, she's definitely obsessed with him, you guys. So don't come for him. Don't come for her. Just let them be happy and live happily ever after. He is adorable. Here she has a study area and a little pink bathroom kind of hard to get a good view of it. I did not turn my camera angle the other way where the wall is gone, which I should have done, but I forgot. And now we're in the basement. Look how cute. And I'm very curious where this pipe takes us. Oh, <gasps> what the heck? Infinity, where have you taken me? I'm scared in here. What the heck? There is a golden toilet. <laughs> Love it. So we backtracked and went back to her river mouth that you guys saw earlier. And look at all of her terraforming and just such a clever way to disguise that river mouth. She's so good at this. I feel like we are playing a different game. Next, Infinity has built an ice cream shop on her beach here. I love to hang out at this ice cream spot. It's even complete with a Ferris wheel. I love the paths that she chose to put on the beach. And that is the ice cream parlor. And now we are in a little transition area, and this is actually next to Chrissy and Francine's little neighborhood. And this pathway takes us by the floating rock garden to the campsite. She managed to squeeze in the campsite on this little small part of her island. We are very close to resident services. I love this. And now this is the farm and transition area to the left of resident services. This is one of the cutest parts on her island. We always pose for photos here. You have seen us here in her video where we raided villagers with the Hita 10 butt trend. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check out Infinity's channel. And that is all I have for you guys today. 
If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you hit the notification bell, you will be notified when I upload a new video. So I just want to say thank you so much to Infinity for letting me tour her island. This was such a fun island to play on. I could have stayed here for hours, which I actually did. And I just had to cut the video really short. As well as our play date, we stayed for like two hours or longer. So it was a lot of fun. This is an incredible island, Infinity. Be sure to check her out on Instagram and YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to her because she will be making a new island soon and I'm sure it will be fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.